All right, take a look at this. This is the new Joy Wing version 1.1. In the last video we did the version one, it was fun, it was really cool and easy to build. This one is a lot cooler and still easy to build. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I build it. And as you can see, there are, there are a few differences like this fuselage where you can put all the electronics, the elephants are bigger, I'm using bigger servos and a super powerful motor to go like a rocket into the sky. So let's start. Once again, we start with the plans. The main difference in this version is that this wing has a fuselage, so we start building that first. When you download the plans, it will look a little bit different than this one, but don't worry, it means that yours is up to date. To glue the pieces, I'm using CA glue with accelerator because it's a lot faster, but you can also use hot glue. Now, hot glue is a little bit heavier, but it will work. To make the rest of the wing, I'm using an A2 size foam board with a thickness of 5 millimeters. I use the plan as a guide to make the marks and then make the cuts. As I said in the last video, the plan is color coded, so make sure to verify what color means what kind of cut. If this video is too fast for you, I will link in the description another video where I will show the whole process slowly and you can take a look at each step. You can access that video only through the link in the description or the link that you see on the screen. The two wings are ready, now I'm measuring the space to put the fuselage. A very useful technique to reduce the weight of the airplane is to take out the paper layer of the inside of the wing. That will save about 8 or more grams as you can see. That's the same weight of some electronic components, like a servo. Here you can see the weight of other components to compare it. Now it's time to glue all the elements together, starting with the wings. Also we're going to reinforce the joint of the wings with a little barbecue skewer, or you could use a popsicle stick. Right now I'm using hot glue because it's really practical, hardens really quickly, but the downside is that it's a little bit heavier. The problem is that CA glue doesn't work with the core of foam because it will eat the material, especially if I use the accelerator. The CA glue works very well with the paper layers, but not with the actual foam. Also, make sure to use good quality hot glue bars. I'm using this brand, and I think any other brand will work just fine, as long as it is not cheap, because it will fall apart. Pay attention to this little opening near to the trailing edge. You only have to put a little bit of hot glue, and maybe bend it upwards just a little bit, barely noticeable. That would be about one degree. If you make it flat, it doesn't matter too much, but that will give it a little bit of auto stability properties. Now let's place the fuselage. It is possible that you will need to trim the edges of the wings a little bit to make it fit. Peeling off the layer of paper is optional. And to make the ailerons move freely, just open the space a little bit more. And now it's time to make the motor base using 1mm plywood. I'm using a drawn leg as a guide. Before continuing, let's see how was the process of choosing the motor. I was testing two different motors of roughly the same size, but using different propellers and different voltages. I was measuring the thrust generated by these combinations. Both motors could be used with this wing, but one of them actually supports 4S batteries, which will be a lot of power. Even using a 3S battery at full thrust, this motor will push equivalent to two times the weight of the model, 
that's more than enough to make this wing fly. And that's why we can fly like a rocket, straight to the sky. What I like about this motor is that even using a 2S battery, I can get a lot of power and still do maneuvers as if I was flying a 3S battery. Of course it's a little bit slower than a 3S battery, but compared to the last version where I was using a 2S battery and it could barely stay in flight, now it's a big improvement. Okay, just like in the last video, you will find all the components that I recommend to finish this project in the description below. When it's time to glue the motor in place, just make sure it is aligned. Just look it from above, from the side, and just make sure it's aligned. That's it. Very simple, but very important. And now it's time to place the servos. If you saw the last video, you know how to do it. It's very simple, but I'll show you again anyways. This time I'm using slightly bigger servos, but they are very strong and they are digital. So I'm gonna have more torque and more precision when flying at high speeds. Again, in the description of this video I will leave a link to another video explaining how to set up your radio and showing the whole process of building the wing slower. We're almost done, we just need to finish some details, like placing the control horns for the elephants. For that, I designed and 3D printed some custom-made control horns. If you have a 3D printer, you can download the STL file, and if you don't, just do it the same way we did it in the last video, using any kind of material like plastic from an old credit card or something similar. At this point, I recommend not having glued the servos in place. I made that mistake, so it's a little bit more difficult to put the push rod and put the servo arm in place. And the final details are to put the vertical stabilizers and of course the optional step of a coat of paint with your favorite design. And now, finally, it's ready. It's time to go out and fly. So the weather was good for a couple of days, but unfortunately I live in Ireland. And if you don't know what's the weather like in Ireland, I will show you this clip. Yes, that's what it's like for a few weeks in a row. So that's why I couldn't get more shots of this wing flying beautifully in the sky because there is no sky, there was just clouds everywhere and water. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed these few images of the wing flying and don't leave yet because the last clip will show the wing flying with the 4S battery is madness. And please, if you like this video, consider subscribing and activate the notification bell to get more videos like this. Take a look at the links below and support this channel and I'll see you in the next project.